He's one of the world's biggest stars. Now, see him like never before. In the small town of Tupelo, Mississippi, on a sweltering day in January 1935, the world witnessed the birth of a legend. Little did anyone know that tiny bundle of joy born to Gladys and Vernon Presley would grow up to become the undisputed king of rock and roll, Elvis Aaron Presley. Elvis's childhood was humble, marked by poverty and struggle. But amidst the hardships, there was always music. He grew up listening to gospel hymns in church and blues on the radio, soaking in the soulful melodies that would later define his sound. From an early age, Elvis possessed an uncanny talent for music. He picked up the guitar and taught himself to play, mesmerizing friends and family with his raw, electrifying voice. But it wasn't until 1953 when Elvis walked into the tiny Sun Records studio in Memphis, Tennessee, that his destiny began to unfold. Sam Phillips, the owner of Sun Records, saw something special in Elvis, a raw, unbridled energy that he knew could shake the world. With his slick back hair, smoldering gaze and gyrating hips, Elvis was a force to be reckoned with. Phillips paired him with guitarist Scotty Moore and bassist Bill Black. The trio began recording songs that would change the course of music throughout history. In 1954, Elvis released his first single, That's Alright a fusion of blues, country and rockabilly that sent shockwaves throughout the music industry. Audiences were captivated by his magnetic stage presence and infectious charisma. He wasn't just singing songs, he was embodying them, channeling the passion and the pain of a generation. As Elvis's fame grew, so did the controversy surrounding him. His hip-swiveling dance moves scandalized conservative America, earning him the nickname Elvis the Pelvis and sparking outrage among parents and politicians alike. But for the younger generation, Elvis was a rebel with a cause, a symbol of freedom and self-expression in a world that often felt stifling and oppressive. By 1956, Elvis had become a bona fide sensation, with hit singles like Heartbreak Hotel, Hound Dog and Love Me Tender dominating the airwaves. He made his silver screen debut in Love Me Tender, captivating audience with his smoldering good looks and undeniable charm. Everywhere he went, crowds clamored for a glimpse of the king, screaming his name like he was a deity descended from the heavens. But with fame came challenges. Elvis struggled to maintain his privacy amidst the relentless scrutiny of the media, and his relentless touring schedule took a toll on his health and well-being. He turned to drugs as means of coping with the pressure descending into a downward spiral that would ultimately claim his life. On August 16, 1977, the world mourned the loss of a legend. Elvis Presley was gone, but his legacy lived on. Immortalized in the hearts and minds of millions of fans around the world, his music continues to inspire and influence generations of artists. His image forever etched in the annals of pop culture history. Elvis Presley may have left the building, but his spirit remains alive and well, a testament to the enduring power of rock and roll and the undying charisma of the one and only king.